Nin Hao and Namaste. Welcome to Thank You Real Abundance. I'm Tara Eberwine, registered nutritionist and wellness therapist, and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the Langkawi travel bubble and to successfully actually get to Langkawi and then get through all seven nights without getting COVID and then being able to go anywhere in Malaysia as a foreigner or a Malaysian resident. It is open to everyone, which is a really amazing way to travel. I love this idea that, you know, you don't have to, you know, be stuck in a hotel room for 14 days, 21 days, seven days, however, it, how many days it is in that country. Malaysia has been testing out and very successfully executing this uh, Langkawi travel bubble, which is really amazing. Long story short, whether you're a Malaysian or a foreign resident, you don't have to have a Malaysian passport, you can apply to the Langkawi travel bubble. Go to Langkawi. Langkawi is a beautiful island. It is north of Malaysia. Well, the north part of Malaysia is actually almost into Thailand, actually closer to Thailand than it is to Malaysia, which is quite amazing. I, I love Thailand as well, so um, yeah, so it's North uh, North Malaysia, and it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful island, and on this Langkawi travel bubble, you can spend, well, you have to spend your quote-unquote quarantine on the island, and you can go anywhere on the island, anywhere in your hotel, you're not stuck in your room, you just have to spend your time on the island. Of course, you have to wear a mask everywhere, that is mandatory, and most importantly, you have to be double vaccinated with an approved vaccine. I'm personally double vaccinated with Pfizer, I will not be discussing my viewpoint on the vaccination obviously that's quite controversial um your opinion's your opinion my opinion's my opinion uh just because i'm vaccinated does not mean i'm necessarily pro-vax or anti-vax or anything um i just got here and um you know for me it was really important to get vaccinated so i could travel and i got here i'm finally with my family after two years of being away from asia i currently reside in brisbane australia and i finally made it in malaysia my home country well i wasn't Long story. I was born in KL, Kuala Lumpur, but I wasn't raised here. I was raised in Hong Kong. Long story. You're not here to hear about my backstory. You hear about. You're here to hear about. You're here to hear about how to get into Langkawi and. Well, I have a list of all the things that I will be going through discussing today. I'm sure there'll be more, but there are other links and other resources that I will link below in the description below um, that will very much help you. I also have all the documents that I had um, going into Langkawi because you need to print everything. It's very important. Some people just have their stuff on their phone. Their phone runs out of battery. Things glitch. Things slow down and whatnot. It's just important to have everything printed and some things you have to have printed to get into um, get into Malaysia, into Langkawi. And if you don't have it did they will they will reject you at the airport wherever you're leaving um, to go to Malaysia I was uh, originally so I went from Brisbane Brisbane Sydney Sydney KL KL Langkawi uh, spent seven nights in Langkawi and then I came back to KL I also went to Penang all over places uh, once you actually get to Langkawi that's the, the, that gets really easy but it's actually leaving the country that you were originally at because a lot of pe people get rejected they don't have this test they don't have this document they haven't done this declaration so it can be very stressful it was very stressful for me to leave so I'm making this video to help you out as well so number one of course you have to be vaccinated and you have to have your so the first thing that I have printed out so I actually stapled all my documents together it makes it a lot easier as well so you don't lose things or you can put it in a file or whatever it makes it easier for you um, number one you have to have, be vaccinated as I said and have that printed out so I have the Australian government um, COVID digital um, certificate there's usually an international certificate you can find um, on your government website for Australia it's my gov I can't tell you personally for your um, government or your um, residency area um, but yeah you should have a certified vaccination of course you have to be um, fully vaxxed for at least two weeks post um, to travel so that's number one most important thing next thing that is super important is that you have to book through a travel agent. You can't just book your flights to Langkawi, book a hotel separately. You have to book through a travel agent. I personally suggest Asian Overland and I have put their link down below as well as a booklet that they made that was so helpful. It is, I think, 20 over pages, but it's very, very thorough. So I recommend read every single page, make sure that you have everything, that everything is clear. When you have an agent, it's so easy to just WhatsApp them. If you don't have WhatsApp yet, you have to download it to get to like, so Langkawi in Malaysia through the Langkawi travel bubble. You also have to download an app called My Sajetra. I'll put that all down below. It is all for you know your ease of getting to Malaysia. My Sajetra is their check-in app. Everywhere you go, you have to check in with the QR code through that app, and you also have to take your temperature. Things might change. Remember also that 
this video that I'm making now today, um, the regulations can change, so make sure that you check the regulations every day. Um, before I left, there, there, um, you had to get a PCR test 72 hours before your departure, and then they changed it to 48 hours before their departure. So a lot of people had their COVID test 72 hours before, but not 48 hours before, and they got rejected. They couldn't get on the flight, and that was really heartbreaking. So make sure you check the regulations every day, and that's the best thing about having a travel agent. They're always on top of everything. So if you need their help, you have a question, you can just WhatsApp them. Through them, they will give you some sort of package. You can pick whichever hotel there are beautiful hotels on Langkawi Island. We ch ended up choosing Brajaya Hotel and um, I really loved it. Uh, it's a resort and there is a there's rainforest chalets, there's also on the um, ocean. It's really really beautiful. What I love about it is that actually it's really good for social distancing and social isolation as there are chalets that are all are throughout the rainforest and the ocean. So it's not like you have a room and then somebody next to you in another room and another room and another room. It's very very um, scattered um you can use their gym which is great if you want to keep fit obviously if you had to quarantine in a hotel you couldn't really use their gym and you just have to run around in circles in your little tiny hotel room and go crazy uh luckily in langkawi you can go wherever you want you can run outside run through the beach go to the gym go to the pool um of course wearing your mask social distancing as well and you also have to take a covid test every single day which is another whole nother topic and that's really fun um they originally wasn't every day to take a covid test but due to omicron and be being so contagious you have to take a COVID test every day. So once you've picked your travel agent, you've picked your hotel, there's a whole range from very cheap to very expensive. I picked Brajaya, as I said. It was in the middle pricing, which was really great. It came with a breakfast buffet, as well as a one-day mangrove tour, which was so fun. You can all watch this. Um, watch all my adventures on Langkawi, on my Langkawi Travel Bubble vlog, where I just have fun uh, quarant quarantining. It's such a great thing, and I feel like every country should do it if they have some sort of island that they can actually execute this on. So what are the COVID tests that you need? Of course, you need the PCR test 48 hours before your departure for leaving your country to go into Malaysia. And then when you arrive into Malaysia, you also have to take a PCR test on arrival in the airport. What's really cool is that once you've booked through a travel agent, when you fly into KLIA, Kuala Lumpur International Airport, when you literally leave the plane, there will be someone standing there with a list of names of all these people going to the Langkawi Travel Bubble and your name will be on it through the travel agent. So I just saw my name and I was like, great. You just follow that person. They'll bring you to the dedicated area for the people for the Langkawi Travel Bubble. And it's this beautiful new lounge. And I love about, what I love about this travel bubble is everything's very, very organized. So there's this beautiful lounge they just made. Um, you take your PCR test. You can either book online, which I'll put the link below, or you can pay on arrival. It doesn't really matter. And then you can, there's two choices. You can do the one hour one or the three hour one. Obviously the three hour one wait, it takes, um, it takes longer and it's more expensive. Luckily for us, our flight arrived at 4 a.m. Even though we did the three hour one, it came in an hour. So it really depends on how many people are arriving at that same time and using the, those resources, the health medical um, PCR testing. So you do your PCR test, you can chill, there's food. Um, I did some yoga there. It's, it's pretty beautiful and it's really open. There's a really nice bathroom as well if you need to brush your teeth or change. Once you get your PCR test back, hopefully it's negative. Make sure you're wearing your mask, cleaning your hands, practicing social distancing while you're traveling, tra actually getting to there because um, you don't want to get COVID, obviously, or else you actually do have to quarantine. So um, once you get your PCR test back, it's negative. They'll give you um, all the instructions um, through My Sajetra. Um, before you actually leave and come to Malaysia, you have to actually upload your vaccination status onto My Sajetra, My Sajetra um, and it shows you how to do that on the app. I'll also put a link below again to help you with that. So once you're in KLIA, you get your PCR test back and it's negative, they'll bring you to your next area. You'll go through immigration. That's when you really need all of these documents, which I'll go through all of the documents that I have. And then um, you just go to your gate and you go to Langkawi. Um, they'll give you a little wristband. Keep that on until you get to Langkawi. It's really important so they know that you're in the Langkawi travel bubble. And that's pretty much it um, once you actually get there, which is really great. Once, you, once everything goes through and you're actually in Langkawi, all the stress is just off your shoulders. In terms of COVID tests, so you have that PCR test before you leave, PCR test when you arrive, um, and then you alternate with RAT rat tests, which you can buy yourself, and you just put the saliva is on the little thing, um, and that you have to take a picture of the QR code and upload it to the iMedical website, as well as um, put the self test through My Sajetra. It's all on the app. It's pretty self explanatory when you actually have it. Um, and then every other day you have to do a PCR test. Now we did the PCR test at the testing station right next to the airport in Langkawi. It's really um, 
it's really convenient and efficient. You can book online. Otherwise, there are many there are many testing places on the island. And the best way to do it, if you don't have your own car and you don't want to walk in, what you can do is you can get a Grab. A Grab is kind of like an Uber that is in Asia. That's the app and the company. Basically, you call a Grab, um, put tell them that you want to go to that area, um, and they say that you're doing your testing, go through, do the drive through, and then drive back. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty pretty easy. A lot of the Grab drivers understand what the Land Carry Travel Bubble is, and they're really happy to bring you to the testing area. Of course, you just have to be, um, you know, hygienic. <laughs> to say the least, of course. You don't want to be giving anyone COVID or getting COVID. So my friends, let's go through all the forms that you need. Very, very important. The PCR test you get before um, you leave your country to go to Malaysia, you have to print it out. It's mandatory. I know a lot of places and a lot of places where you travel to just require you show them their, your email, the text, you have to print it out. If you don't print it out, they're not gonna let you on the flight. So please print it out. Very, very, very important. Next thing is, of course, you need your vaccination status. You need to be double vaxxed. Next is to print out all your flight itineraries. If you are not Malaysian, you must book your flight out of Malaysia back home or back wherever you're going. You have to have that ticket to leave, obviously, or else they will think that you're gonna stay in Malaysia illegally. So you have to have that booked. I didn't have that booked because I'm Malaysian, so I didn't need that. Another thing you need if you're not Malaysian is you have to have insurance. You have to have travel and COVID insurance to cover 80,000 US dollars. We personally used Go Insurance. I'll also put that in the description box below. Uh, we meaning my partner who is Australian and my stepbrother who's Australian. Uh, of course, I don't need insurance, again, because I'm a Malaysian resident or I have a Malaysian passport. The insurance is not too expensive. It was around 100 US dollars for covering the whole month, covering $80,000 in case you get COVID, you need a quarantine, something bad happens. So this is really important even if you're traveling before COVID times anyway. So yeah, highly recommend you go for Go Insurance. It's great. Again, I'm not sponsored by anything that I mentioned today, including my travel agent or the insurance. I'm just sharing what I was using and it was really helpful for me. So I hope it's helpful for you. Same with Burjaya. It's not like they sponsored me or anything, the hotel. Um, they were just a really, really great hotel. Highly recommend. It's a beautiful place and it's not too expensive um, in terms of a five-star resort. Next form you need is the health declaration form. A lot of people have trouble finding this. I heard from the lady that was checking us in that one person got rejected because they couldn't find the health declaration form. You can find this on the Malaysia Airlines website. I'll link it down below. Um, you just fill it out, basically ask you basic health declaration questions. Um, like, have you traveled? Do you have any symptoms of COVID and whatnot? Next, you must print out the agenda that the travel agent has booked out for you. Um, usually has your, you know, your arrival date, um, what hotel you're going to, who you've been discussing, what tests you have to take. For example, um, you have to take the RTK antigen self-test on day two, and then you have to do the RTK antigen test professionally and then by yourself and then professionally and then your PCR test. Basically, it tells you what tests you have to do every day, which day you're doing your mangrove tour, which day you're leaving, what your flight is back to KL or wherever you're going in Malaysia. And yeah. And in terms of the self-tests, highly recommend that you do them in the morning when you haven't eaten anything. People find that sometimes when they eat, it actually can contaminate the RAT test, the RAT test, and it can show a false positive, which you definitely do not want. So make sure you're doing it first thing in the morning. Obviously, also, if it's the day that you're supposed to do your self-test, you don't wanna be going out, doing random stuff, and then coming back and then testing and being like, oh no, I had COVID the whole time and I've been out. So always do it first thing in the morning before you've eaten. You also wanna print out the license of your travel agency just to show that it is legit and that you have booked through a proper travel agency and yeah that's actually all the forms that I have other forms you might want to print out are basically your birth certificate passport I see just copies of those just in case as well as any emails that you've been doing um, to and from the travel agency just to show that you have been discussing any confirmation emails for your flights for your hotels those are very important as well just so that they know that you have somewhere to stay and that everything is organized for your stay in Langkawi lastly in terms of visa obviously I'm Malaysian I do not need a visa uh, for Australians they do have 90 days in Malaysia visa free so you actually just have to check your passport check the government website and see that if you have to have a visa 
Um, you have to have a My Travel Pass if you're going to Malaysia, not via the Langkawi Travel Bubble. So if you are doing a Langkawi Travel Bubble, you do not need a My Travel Pass, so don't worry about that either. So just to recap, make sure to print out all your forms, please. Get a great travel agency, book a beautiful hotel to enjoy yourself while you're there. Wear a mask all the time, keep washing your hands, maintain social distancing, make sure to have your own RAT tests with you so that you can use them, as well as book everything in advance in terms of your own tests. Make sure to look if you need a visa, if you need insurance, print out you know your passports as well, just in case. And while you're actually in Malaysia, bring your passport or your IC, have it on you all times, just in case that need to, people need to see your identification. Download WhatsApp, my Sajetra. I know this is a lot of things actually now that I'm actually speaking it out. <laughs> and of course you need to be vaccinated. That's very important or else they're not gonna let you in without having to quarantine or let you in to the Langkawi travel bubble in general. Langkawi is a beautiful place. So just see this as an opportunity to have a, a holiday, pretty much a holiday. Uh, and then go be able to go into Malaysia. I know people, a lot of people are using this as a way to visit their family in Malaysia or perhaps go to a different country after Malaysia. Um, it's a very great opportunity to quarantine without actually having to quarantine in a room. So I hope this helps. Uh, as I said, I'll put all the information in the description box below. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below. I will reply straight away or just DM me at Tyrabundance on Instagram. All the best with your travels and enjoy Langkawi and Malaysia, truly Asia. It's really a beautiful country and island as well. So yeah, hope this helps. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and much love.